Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this video, we're gonna talk about basic character animation. All right, so this is a very interesting topic because there's a few ways you can animate these cartoon characters. And I'm gonna show you two ways in this video on how you can easily animate your cartoon characters. If you're just getting started out in this type of animation, go ahead and check our last week's video where I give a broad overview on how to do cartoon animation in general from the workflow of Adobe Illustrator to After Effects. So if you're lost, go back and watch that video. It'll give you everything you need to know. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at the puppet tool in After Effects and how to rig your character in Adobe Illustrator and animate it inside of After Effects. So we'll take a quick look at those two principles and we'll hit the ground running with the puppet tool. So essentially what the puppet tool allows you to do is to add points onto specific objects inside of After Effects and you can select those points and you can distort your image and you, and you can animate specific objects in relation to the pins. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here we are in After Effects and I already have a little scene set up in here with no animation and we want to animate our character, I'm calling her Sally. But the tool we're going to use is the puppet pin tool which is here at the top and you just want to grab it and make sure your layer is selected that you want to animate. So here's our character and essentially we just want to click and add a point. So this is essentially a pin and we can move our object around the pin here. Now, what we need to do is add multiple pins here. So let's add maybe another pin here to the shoulder and we click here and see, okay, we're getting a little bit of control here, but still not enough. So what we have to do is just add a few more pins inside the body so we know, hey, this part of the body is separated from the rest. So the arm and the hand is separated. And you can see now we get a little bit more control, but still you get animation up here. So what you want to do is continue to add pins to say, hey, listen, this is all independent from my hand. Now I can kind of animate the hand in a way where uh, we have independent animation. So what I want to do here is animate our hand. So we'll come down here to the mesh one and what we can do is select the pins here and we can continue to open this up and we'll see which ones are selected. So this is pin one and this other hand here is pin 15. And maybe we want to put this hand on our hip so we can kind of animate this inward here like this. And you can see the hand just moves in like that, no problem. But what I'd like to do is maybe add another point on the elbow because you know usually you want to add points where there's actual like where the movement is controlled from, like your elbow, right? So we'll come back here to the first frame and we'll add a point on our elbow where that would be at. And then we'll come here to the end of our animation and have this bow out a little bit. And now that's currently what we have. Now if we want to animate the other hand, no problem at all. Alright, and we did the same animation on the other side as well. And we want to add some more animation, so maybe we want to bobble the head. We can easily do that. So maybe I would actually delete some of these points, depending on the animation that you're doing. So by putting like one point in the head here, what I can do is just animate this, you know, and have it bob from left to right. So now we have a little bit more animation in here. So here is our full animation with the puppet pin tool and obviously this is just one object so we had to separate it individually so you need to be careful when you use a puppet pin tool like this because you will you know introduce distortion if you're not careful and which can be fine if that's you know the style you're going for uh, but if you don't want distortion our next step will be going over to Adobe Illustrator and rigging this out correctly. So the puppet tool is really awesome, but you need to know when to use it and when not to use it. So keep in mind that if you're not perfect with the puppet tool, you're gonna create distortions within your vector object. Um, and that might not be something you want. Maybe it is. Of course, it's just something for you to understand. So in this next technique, we're gonna rig up our characters in Illustrator and then bring them over to After Effects to animate. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. And like I said, you can download free vector files off of freepix.com. I'll link in the video description. And here we select our entire character and you can see all the paths, the meshes of our character. And we can control click a part of the image and you can see that we have this isolated, we can move it around and you can see we're gonna be able to animate that separately inside of After Effects. But what we wanna do here is rig out our character so we can successfully animate this inside of After Effects. So what we're gonna do in our layers tab is create a new layer and we'll call this one right arm. And what we'll do is we'll select our arm and our hand so we have that selection. And we'll come here to a layer one and we'll be able to see which path is selected. So we can select the path and group here and just bring it over to the right arm. And now we can turn it off and boom, there is our arm. Now, if you get a little bit of extracurriculars, just keep that in mind. We can add another layer and we'll do another arm. And we'll just have to move these over to the you know right layer. So we can get very specific of how much we want to group in here. So if we, if we want to do the legs, we can do that or the head. But I'm just going to keep everything at this. I'm just going to animate the arms. So when you're done, make sure you save your layer. And then you go back over to After Effects and you're gonna to need to import your layer. So let's come here, drag in here. 
and it'll ask me if I want to import it as a composition make sure you select it as composition click OK and we'll want to open up this composition and here's our character we'll just copy these layers and we'll paste it in our main comp so now here is our character and we have the left arm and the right arm so here is essentially the same thing I mean we've right clicked this and we have the independent control of it but we don't have independent control over the hand and the arm so in order to have that you need to right click your layer click on create and go to create shapes from vector layer now we open up our shape layer we go in the contents you'll see there's two groups here this is the arm and this is the hand so there's a couple schools of thought here so we have two objects that we can independently animate the arm and the hand but we got to talk about the anchor point here so essentially the arm it just needs to rotate the entire object together with the hand so we can just use the basic transform tools on the layer to rotate it so we'll grab the pan behind tool and we'll move our anchor point to the top here where it needs to you know rotate around this area and we'll want to move the anchor point for the hand which is group two and we'll want to move this towards the wrist so now we'll be able to independently animate the hand and then the entire selection here will be you know animated together so we just hit r on our keyboard for rotation we'll add a keyframe for rotation we can move forward and we can rotate this upward a little bit so now we have a very smooth animation of our arm and then if we want to say animate our hand we can go into group two go to the transform group two we can add a keyframe for rotation rotate our hand if we want and now if you're layering techniques you can animate your layer in pretty much any way the only thing you're limited by is with how many meshes that you have so you gotta keep that in mind so the less meshes means less control so you know if you want a little bit more control in the elbows or whatever you're gonna have to make sure the vector object has that you know versatility when you're doing this type of animation but you know, this is a very basic overview of how to do character animation and you know how to you know manipulate your character so so you have a couple tools at your disposal to animate your characters if you're not really into the animation thing and you don't have a lot of time to work on this go ahead and check our links in the video description the preview you're seeing right now are from video hive and they have hundreds of these pre-made cartoon you know character templates and they are after effects templates which are already animated for you so you can just drag and drop you know scenes together so you can drag and drop you know specific scenes and you can have your entire composition done within a few minutes compared to hours of work so go ahead and keep that in mind if you're on time crunch or don't have patience for this type of work most importantly if you did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to our channel Sunduck film we post you know two post production tutorials every single week right here hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating <laughs>